Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. <laughs> so, you know, this is what, what is it, for? what's the date anyway? Uh, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, I don't know, could be a month from now, whatever, whatever, it may or may not be for you, but let's just see what we got. What kind of message do I need to deliver today? For the collective, what is about to happen for somebody? Somebody. What do we got? The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. I was going to say whatever it is. It's beautiful. I should have just said it. Anyway, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles, she has something in her hand. She has something that is of value. She does. She is grounded. She is down to earth. She looks like she is very much at ease. Very comfortable. Has has something. She definitely has something that she is holding on to. Has to do with her value. It has to do with her security. She's secure. She's stable. She's a hard worker. She's devoted. She's looking at something though. She's she's sitting there and she's got something. It's like she sees something. She does see something <laughs> interesting. We have some little fairies here. It's like there's some sort of help as well. Interesting. Hmm. Something to do with the Queen of Pentacles. She has something of value in her hands. She has a pentacle. Hmm. The Hermit reversed. Somebody may be coming out of hiding. Time to socialize. Time to socialize. Hmm. This queen, she's thinking. She is definitely, if you notice, she's definitely, take a look at the look at the look on her face. She's thinking about something. She's thinking probably about giving something away. Maybe she is, maybe she's not. I don't know why that's not focusing. It's focused for a minute. Anyway, if you, I don't know if you can see the look on her face. She's definitely thinking about something. So bright over there that you can't see it. But anyhow... She's thinking about something. She's thinking about socializing. She's think thinking about coming out of hermit mode. And she's obviously thinking a lot. She got a lot on her mind. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Right? She's thinking about it. Should I? Should I? Should I? I don't know if I should. Hmm. Knight of Cups. Wow, we have this Knight of Cups here that has something for her. It's going right here. This person is, this, this is an offer of love. This is an offer of love or a date or, you know, some sort of uh, communication, some sort of flirting going on. This is, this is definitely something happening with the Knight of Cups. This is wanting a relationship. Uh, romantic. This is a romantic. This is an offer. This is a gift. Oh, this is somebody that's interested. You know, we, well, yeah, we do. We got somebody here that is interested in this Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, she's stable. She's valuable, and she's thinking about it. She is definitely thinking about it. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it could be anybody. So it looks like we have somebody here that is thinking about coming out of hiding. They've been in her hermit mode. They may have been, you know, working on their value, working on their self-worth, work, work, or working on their job, just focused on themselves. Maybe they've, you know, been lonely because this is lonely. And now it's like they got this connection of some sort or somebody is approaching them. They're approaching them in some sort of loving manner. You know, there's, 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 this person seems to be very interested, okay? We definitely have somebody here that is interested in this Queen of Pentacles. All right? I mean, obviously this person is interested. So, uh, she's thinking about it. She is. The Hangman Reversed. Hangman reversed. Now the hangman reversed is <sighs> hiding something, missing an opportunity. But this is uh, somebody that has been stuck 
They have been in hiding. They, this, this, they've been in hiding. They've been stuck. Having a really hard time letting go of something. Obsessed with control. <laughs> Refusing to make any changes. <laughs> we may have uh, somebody that is thinking about going with somebody else. There could be a couple of choices here. This is somebody that is very stubborn. The hangman reverse is somebody that is stubborn. I'm not going to change a thing. Not. This is a martyr. I got a point to prove, and I'm going to prove that point. Could be dealing with the Pisces. This is somebody who has a point to prove and isn't going to change for any reason. Hmm. Death. Death. Now, the death reversed, though. Let's focus this in a little bit. Whoops. Boy, that thing is loose. Death reversed. So, there's gonna, there's been some sort of stagnation. There's been a delay. Somebody is being held back by fear. There's a level of indecision. We, we have somebody here that is wanting to approach this Queen of Pentacles. She's valuable. She's valuable. This person wants to approach, and I think they're going to. They look like they're pretty damn close to me. Uh, but there's fear. Could be fear of rejection. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Now, this person has, some, has something of value to add as well. This person does have something of value. Some, this person is stable and solid and a hard worker. Soulmates. We have a soulmate connection here. We, we, we have, this person is ready for a relationship, obviously. Been waiting for somebody to come sweep her off her feet. Hmm. Now, the King of Pentacles is a hard worker and plans. This person plans. Very practical, very cunning, very clever, very uh, solid and stable and business oriented. Just smart. Very smart. Has worked hard to obtain what they have. So this person is a hard worker, but struggling. Definitely struggling. Somebody is, I don't know who it is, somebody is struggling. They are definitely struggling, resisting change. Very, very stubborn. This is very stubborn. That, bo both people are stubborn. So bo they do. Both people here have stubborn tendencies. Okay, so we definitely have some stubbornness in here that is probably in the way of a relationship. She is thinking. So the feminine is thinking. She's waiting. She's waiting for this offer of love, which is coming. An offer of love is coming for this person. She's ready to come out of hiding. She's been in a state, both, somebody has been in a state of enlightenment, and maybe both people have. It's like they've been through that period of awakening already, right? I'm, 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 I'm done, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. The devil reversed. Now this is freedom, freedom from control. There could be some self-sabotage here, though. Hmm. Temperance reversed. Wow, there's extremes. There's extremes. There's some sort of, there could be some addictions, but there's freedom from addictions as well, because this is freedom from addictions. This is extremely frustrated. Somebody may be extremely frustrated, uh, again, fearful, not healthy, impatient. We have one person here that hasn't learned their lesson. They're really struggling to deal with their addictions. They're really struggling with their ego because this is ego. And we have somebody here that is struggling with their ego. And I feel like this person that is struggling with their ego is going to lose a big opportunity. 
They are. That's what this is. This is losing an opportunity because of pride and ego. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. We have somebody here that is going to lose an opportunity because of pride and ego. They haven't changed. They can't change. They resist change. Their pride and ego is so big. We have this person that has been waiting for a relationship. They've been waiting for somebody to come sweep them off their feet. And this person is here. Very, very, very close. I don't know if we're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or something like that. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn very strongly here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Sagittarius, but Earth and Water are very prominent in this reading. It's mostly Earth and Water. The only one that's not is this one. So anyway, um, all is not as it seems. There's something that is, somebody is hiding. Somebody is hiding their true feelings. But they are about to emerge. Something is about to emerge. We have a major change that is coming. And I say that it is major because most of, most of these cards are majors. They're not minors. And the ones that aren't minors, I mean, that, yeah, uh, that aren't minors or aren't majors are court cards. This is big, okay? This is big. This is universally driven. It's like the universe, which is a major. The universe is bringing two soulmates together. There is a reason, because this is a reason, there is a purpose. There is a purpose why these, why everything happens, right? Because this is about purpose. There's a purpose why things end. There are two people that are coming together. Somebody is missing a big, or they're losing, or yeah, they're missing an opportunity. Because they are slave to their ego. All right, their ego rules, okay? Now they are, now they're probably, whoever this person is that is missing an opportunity could end up growing old alone, okay? Because their ego, you know, is getting in the way of whatever it is it, of a relationship. Anyhow, um, This king of pentacles, what is he going to do? Knight of wands, reverse. What is he going to do? He's going to think. He is thinking. Think, 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 think. He definitely is thinking. So we do have this king of pentacles, definitely, that is thinking. He is thinking before he acts. He's not going to act impulsively. He is reluctant to take action because of fear. She's very valuable. So we definitely have somebody here that has something to offer. This person is a planner. He is a little fearful of making an offer. I think he's going to do it, though. I do think he's going to do it. There's an offer of love coming for this person. You know, this, pers who, this person up here that is, is ready. It's like this person has been through a state of enlightenment. This person is ready. This person is, is wanting it. It's like they're calling in a soulmate, perhaps. Because that is the pentacle is manifestation. Okay. So it's like she's calling in a soulmate. And here it is. It's right here. There are hidden forces bringing these two people together, by the way. There is. There's a new relationship that is about to happen. Okay. There is. If you are in a couple relationship <laughs> and you are watching this, there could be a rejection because the hermit reversed is a rejection. There could be because you don't see eye to eye. There's This is like toxic. It's unhealthy and somebody is breaking free. So I'm just, I mean, this could go all day. This is, this is breaking free from a toxic situation that you're not on the same page with. You don't, you don't mingle with this person. You don't get along. 
you know, and somebody has been refusing to break free because of, you know, their old mindsets and now they're facing some sort of crisis and they, we have this person that probably sees, you know, I want real love. I want something more stable. I want a soulmate. So, I mean, this has got to end. So we could go all day with different scenarios here. Anyhow, I do feel like we have two soulmates that are coming together, and this is not no impulsive decision. I think we have somebody here that has been thinking about it, and they've been they've been stopped by fear, but I think they're ready. I think they're ready. I think they see a really big opportunity that, you know, this opportunity is do good, too good to pass up. And if they don't go forward with it, then they're going to lose it. And they probably know it. So I think we have a very wise individual that is about to make a move. Okay? That's what I see. Um, we do have somebody here that is really struggling with their ego, though. We do. We have somebody here that uh, really is sick, per se. Okay? Not healthy. This is not healthy. Okay, somebody here that is uh, acts inappropriately, goes overboard, may drink too much, may do drugs, has some sort of addictions that are clouding their thoughts. Okay, it's causing them to make poor decisions, and these addictions are. And I think this person is about to lose a big golden opportunity to somebody else because of their you know, poor judgment, and I'm surprised we don't have the judgment card reversed, it's like they can't learn their lessons, their ego, their e they're based on ego, their, their life is, is ego based, okay, they're not awakened, they're not aware, so, I mean, we could go all day, but we're not going to be able to, because I have other readings to do, so anyway, I, there is somebody here that is, is about to lose a golden opportunity to somebody else, because of their ego, One more card. Page of Wands reversed. This is not good news. This is bad news. <laughs> it is. The Page of Wands reversed. We have somebody here that uh, is a procrastinator that makes excuses. This person is a show-off. This person is unreliable. And because they they don't follow through, they're going to lose an opportunity. We already talked about that. So we have somebody here that is losing an opportunity. Um, but we also have somebody else that is receiving a new offer of love. There are hidden forces that are bringing two people together that these two people are both stable. They're both ready. They're both solid. They're both uh, hard workers. They're a perfect match. Okay? They're a perfect match. Everything happens for a reason. The person that is drowning in their ego perhaps is meant to learn this lesson. Okay? So accept. The, accept. And somebody's been having a hard time accepting who they were dealing with in the past, right? Anyway, so I think the person that isn't learning their lesson is going to learn the lesson the hard way because they lose the opportunity that uh, they didn't grab when it was time. So yeah, that's what I got. I feel like in the upcoming future, we have a Queen of Pentacles who is about to get an offer of love. And she probably sees it coming by the looks of things. I think she does see it coming. So yeah, that's what I got. Good luck.